Hi, right, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can pass URL parameters to a contact form like this. The best part about this tutorial is it's gonna require no coding and all you're gonna need is Elementor Pro to pull this off. I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in the description below if you wanna help support this channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can take a URL like this so let's say we have our contact page and we have a UTM source equals, let's say Facebook. So if you're running like a Facebook ad or a link on Facebook and you wanna pass this variable Facebook through your contact form. So when someone hits submit, you wanna be able to track that information. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Here we are on the back end of that Elementor page. And as you can see, I just have a regular contact form right here. And all we're gonna to have to do is add a hidden field and request a parameter. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is underneath uh, add item, you can just click add item. Underneath type, we're gonna go down into hidden. And you can give this a label. I do recommend a label because then inside your message when you get it, uh, you know, your email, you're gonna know what it's linked to. So you could just type in label UTM source. Um, it's not gonna show up on the front end because it's uh, hidden. And then underneath advanced, you're gonna do default value. You're gonna make sure you click dynamic tags and scroll down to site and select request parameter. Once you do that, you're gonna to wanna to click it again. And underneath get, you can just paste in a UTM underscore source. Um, this isn't limited to just uh, using like UTM tags. You can use it for basically anything Afterneath, uh, after your question mark right here. So if you have a different search term, so if you have like S equals Facebook for like search, you can put that in right here. But anything, it has to be equal and then a variable. And then that's it. You're gonna just hit update. And I'm gonna show you how the email is gonna look. You're gonna wanna make sure that, let's say underneath action after submit, you have as email and then it depends on how you have this. If you have it like default, where it's just all your fields, it's going to pull in all of your fields. So this is going to pull in the hidden field as well. If you do happen to not have it where it's all your fields and you need to pull in that short code, you can always just do that right here underneath advanced. And then the, you could pull in the short code. But like I said, if you have all of your fields, it's going to look totally fine. So now I'm going to fill out this form and to show you how the email is going to look. And here's what the email is gonna look like. We just have our normal information, name, email, website. And then this right here, this was the label we put in as UTM source. And then here you go, here's Facebook. So that's how easy it is to pull in a URL parameter. And here's a cool little trick if you wanna make sure that this request parameter is working without having to submit your form every time. Instead of having it as hidden, uh, bring it back into text and hit update. And now what you can do is on the front end of the website, you can just hit refresh right here and you're gonna see right here, here's the hidden field. So if you wanna make sure that this request parameter is working, you know, like I said, without submitting every time, you could just, you know, unhide it and you can make sure that everything's working. So if I go up here and just type in uh, Facebook two or something, you're gonna see that it updates right here as Facebook two. So that's it for this tutorial. Make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new Elementor tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.